This short uh, video is just to help uh, the Property and Facilities Committee understand some projects that I'm proposing. This first one is for a new guidance office. It's in what has been a closet. We've added these two windows, um, sheetrock the walls, and put a door on the closet that uh, is basically under the steps that go up to the costume room, added electrical, painted, uh, put in baseboard, and uh, Sam Anhalt is going to put in some carpeting and furniture and so forth. It'll serve as guidance and also a conference room with students. And it's right off the cafeteria. <clears throat> Next to that closet is the closet you see there with the open door. And that has been the costume room. And it's been an office of sorts with a small desk where Kelly Walker has done her tasks for many years but uh, we would like to put windows in this door tidy up this space and uh, make that an office for drama yearbook and so forth this office is slightly larger than the guidance office we would add a second desk but it would not have a conference table the project mentioned third in that proposal involves the dishwashing room which has not been used as a dishwashing room for over a decade it's out of code because the dishwasher doesn't reach temperature and it doesn't work the garbage disposal has been removed the three basin dishwashing sink does get used and it's important that we keep that sink and keep it functional. So we would simply pivot it 45 degrees so that it's at a right angle to the wall and it's now occupying that spot on the floor that you see with a wall behind it. And the, uh, the angle in that wall that is cut out is for this hand washing sink, which is now on the proposed teacher lounge side of the wall and they could use it for making coffee, etc. This idea keeps this very functional three basin dishwashing sink still a part of the kitchen and very accessible. In fact, a little more accessible than it is right now. To the right of that three basin sink are two openings that have really not been open for about 20 years. The door and that uh, rolling window. Both of those would be put to a new purpose. The window in that wall was originally designed to take in uh, trays from hot lunch for the dishwasher. The reason nobody has ever seen that window open is because we don't use trays for hot lunch. We don't have dishes for hot lunch. We don't have silverware. So the original intent was never fulfilled. But by relocating that electrical plug, removing the wall below the window, we have a head start for the proposed entrance into the proposed teacher workroom. The other unused opening in that dishwashing room is this door which goes out into the serving area here you'll see the yellow tape which is uh, indicating where the proposed wall will go for this new room you can see one of the classes is preparing to serve lunch on the ample counter space and the counter that's not being used would become part of the teacher workroom I'm recommending that this door be removed because it would no longer serve any purpose and if possible the frame and door could be repurposed at the end of that wall right where Julie just walked through so that repurposed door or another door would go right here uh, to enter the kitchen and you can see that's the space that would now be cordoned off with the proposed wall with the door right right there and uh, people in the kitchen could walk out here, make access to the dishwashing sink, and there'd be a wall where this yellow line is, carpeting of some sort on the other side, that sink repositioned to be useful in the teacher workroom. This half of the teacher workroom would have sufficient floor space for a table, maybe four or five chairs around it for lunch, uh, coffee, what have you, a couple of comfortable chairs, and a policy that this is a student-free area. It's just for teachers.
Many people have had input into this idea, and what they like best is that this teacher workroom project demonstrates the principle of highest and best use by replacing an unattractive room that's not being used with an attractive, much needed teacher workroom that um, the teachers will appreciate and will use every day.